Hello there first year students, today we have unit 8 in your book Headway the Beginner Level. Today we are going to talk about the prepositions, prepositions of place, word order, and you need to check the right sentence. First we have the prepositions. Exercise 1. Look at the prepositions. In, fi, on, ala, under, taht, next to, bijanib. Exercise 2. Look at Robert's bedroom. Write a preposition from exercise 1. So now let us have a look at Robert's bedroom. I hope that your rooms are not like that of Robert's. Number one. His laptop is on the desk. Number two. The CD player is next to the laptop. Number three, there are three books on the floor next to his bed. Number four, his car keys are in the drawer. That drawer. So the car keys are in the drawer. Number five, there is a football, shift of football, a kid of football on the floor, under the desk. Under the desk, yes. Number six, as a trainers, trainers, yani are next to his bag, bijanib, haqibta under the bed under his bed so his trainers are next to his bag under his bed yes now let us look at this exercise about word order put the words in the correct order to make a questions في الترتيب الصحيح لصياغة أسئلة Number one أن الكلمات متفرقة house, uh, or live, in, do, flat, you, a uh. So احنا نعرف حتى نصيغ سؤال نحتاج either نبي السؤال بـ question word for example why, what, where, how, how many, how old Okay, أو نبديها with an auxiliary verb أو نبديها بفعل مساعد إذا ما عدنا question word إذا حتكون uh, yes no question اللي حتبدي with an auxiliary verb فعل مساعد فندور أول شيء إذا هو سؤال ندور بين هذه الكلمات على either question word إذا ما لقينا فإذا ناخذ ال auxiliary verb هنا عدنا do ما عندنا question word we have the auxiliary verb do بعد ال auxiliary verb حيجي فاعل نبحث عن الفاعل وأخذنا ضمائر الفاعل subject pronouns I, you, he, she, it, they, we هاي ضمائر الفاعل أو قد يكون الفاعل اسم okay اسم شخص uh, عموما so هنا عندنا do you الفاعل هو ضمير you بعد الفاعل حيجي المين verb okay هذا طبعا ال word order of the question of making a question so in the auxiliary verb plus the subject plus the main verb نبحث عن المين verb الفعل الرئيسي في الجملة هنا عندنا live do you live وراها ال complement of the sentence تكملة الجملة or the question ف يعني عندنا do you live عادة ال live يأتي بعدها preposition in I live in okay so do you live in 
ورا ان اكيد حيجي المكان اللي نعيش بيه do you live in a house or a flat او حتى اذا سويناها do you live in a flat or a house هل تعيش في شقة او منزل او منزل او شقة no problem okay. وعادة الاسم المفرد المعدود يأتي بعد ال indefinite articles uh, اللي هي ال a او ال an okay. فنحط a house a flat right let us look at uh, number two many how are their bedrooms so I'll نبحث عن question word okay we have a question word we have how how many how many عادة how many يأتي بعدها الاسم اللي احنا دا نسأل عنه so how many bedrooms how many bedrooms بما انه هو سؤال فيتقدم ال الفعل هنا نحتاج شو المساعد بس with verb to be مع الفعل uh, to be اللي هو is are um, uh, ما يحتاج فعل مساعد اوكي okay. قلنا هاي استثناء في حالة uh, السؤال ال verb to be بال present simple tense uh, ما يحتاج فعل مساعد also uh, بال past simple tense so how many bedrooms are there how many bedrooms are there? Okay, a job. There are, مثلا, five bedrooms. There are three bedrooms. Okay. Number three. أيضا نبحث عن question word. إذا ملكين question word. نأخذ the auxiliary verb. إذا أن verb to be, فهو يكون the main verb هو the auxiliary verb. Yes. ف there there is no question word إذا نأخذ verb to be اللي هو is is there ندا يعني دنا بحث عن شيء موجودة مثلاً داخل منزل فنقول there are there is مثلاً there is a phone in the kitchen there are chairs in the room فمن نسأل عنها is there are there هل يوجد هناك؟ okay. Is there a phone in the kitchen? Is there a phone in the kitchen? هل يوجد هاتف في المطبخ؟ Is there a phone in the kitchen? Number four. Also here we have the verb is. There. طبعا نبحث عن الكلمات يعني هنا حرتبها logically يعني هي أكثرها nouns أسماء so is there a television in the living room is there a television in the living room هل يوجد تلفاز في غرفة المعيشة number five also here we have is there طبعا is there من اسا عن شيء عن وجود شيء مفرد في مكان ما و are there من اسا عن وجود يعني مجموعة اشياء في مكان ما is there a dvd player under the television is there a dvd player under the television is there وبعدها وضعنا ال DVD player أكيد مو التلفزيون هو under the DVD player so is there a DVD player under the television number six نعدنا are are there ونبحث عن الكلمة الجمع اللي دنسأل عنها are there عدنا books لكن نلاحظ أنه أكو قبل أكو أيضا أن a lot of so are there a lot of books in your bedroom are there a lot of books in your bedroom number seven also we have are there and the pictures 
on the wall فقط عندنا any ال any أيضا نضعها قبل ال pictures are there any pictures on the wall هل هناك أي لوحات على الجدار are there any pictures on the wall now check it tick the correct sentence Number one, is a sofa in the living room? Or we should say, is there a sofa in the living room? The next one is the correct one. Is there a sofa in the li living room? هل يوجد أريكة في غرفة المعيشة? Number two. There is DVD player on the floor or we should say there is a DVD player on the floor. Of course, the second one is the correct one. There is a DVD. يجب الاسم المعدود المفرد المعدود نضع قبل indefinite article اللي هي either a or an. There is a DVD player on the floor. Number three. Are there a poster on the wall or are there any posters on the wall? أيضا الثانية هي الصحيحة لأن إحنا نسأل عن شيء جمع فاستخدمنا are لكن الجملة الأولى are there a poster عندنا مفرد فالجملة الثانية هي الصحيحة أو السؤال الثاني هو الصحيح are there any posters are من نسأل عن شيء جمع فلازم يأتي بعد are there اسم جمع الجملة الأولى بعدها اسم مفرد So are there any posters on the wall? Number four My keys are in the drawer or my keys are on the drawer The first one is the correct one My keys are in the drawer Number five the lamp is next to the bed or the lamp is next to the next to the bed. The first one is the correct one. The lamp is next to the bed. Next to. Uh, hi, in some prepositional phrase. يعني حرف جر على شكل عبارة هي next to. دائما next to. ما نستخدم next. نجا استعمالها أو معناها شيء آخر. So the lamp is next. To the bed. Thank you and have a good day.